Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Yeah, man. <laughs> what are we doing here today? All right, cool. Today, yeah, we're going to the Goldsmith University. Yeah. There's an artist. He hit me up on Instagram, and he was like, "Shots, can I draw a picture of you?" I was like, "Are you being serious?" Like, of course, bro. Like, place, yeah. A little detail. A little yeah. Wrong place, but it's not too far. <laughs> Right here. That's another goldsmith. So it's all spiritual and that. Yeah. I thought so because the picture was mad spiritual, yeah. man. Do I see the picture? He said, Do I see the picture? I see the real person. <laughs> I'm seeing a real person, mate. That's dope, man. Look at that. Look, this is what Shocker does. It just shocks you. That's amazing. Listen, obviously he did the King K. Yeah. But that's King J. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? Yeah, man. This is too epic, bro. Trust me, this is here. Yeah. Man. Yeah. It's amazing, bro. What it's made amazing. you draw him? Um, I think it's the, the connection, bro. The yeah. connection of him as an artist and, uh, and the things that he's been through. Yeah. Uh, bro, I can also relate to that. You know, as a emerging artist, yeah. going through that is really, really hard, man. It's really, really hard. And sometimes you go through your own little journey, yeah. a really troubled journey, in fact. But the reason why I did him and the crown is because most of my series of painting would relate. It has that thing of the crown. Walk me through it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's yeah. like, it's like, it, yeah. So it's, it's, it's all about. When you have the crown, that is your destiny, that is your peace, that yeah. is your that is where you're going to be. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. for me to paint, you know, shop out with the crown, yeah. bro, that's it mate. <laughs> so yeah. What inspired you to do this one? So this one here, I did this one in 2014. Uh -huh. And uh it's about my brothers as well. So there's there's three other there's two other paintings that I didn't get to put up today. Yeah. But the actual paintings are called Muwalaye, which means I am still alive. Yeah. Uh, I was born and raised in Sweden, and, and um, when me and my brothers were living there, we was literally we got a lot of like racial abuse, and um, the fact that I did those three paintings together means that even till now we're still standing. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it means that we're still alive despite of the abuse, despite of the, you know, discrimination 100. and all of that stuff. You know, anything that we have to do as black people, we have to do it harder yeah. compared to other people. So that's what the crown is all about. The crown is all about the peace, it's about that we're still alive and we still continue our journey. Cool. So. This is also yours, right? Yes. Then, um, this is you trying to fight out with. That's what that is basically what that's what it is. It's this it's the journey. Yeah. When you see the crown and you go because what this this whole exhibition is about is about, you know, as a black artist or as a uh, other race, what is it that you're doing? What is it that what sort of um, what is it that you're going through as a black artist or as a, as an artist in general? And for me, it's it's very very tough. It's confusing, uh, and it's an interesting journey. So it's like we have the goal, but sometimes we get distracted yeah. through social media, through uh, what is there? life so, itself, life itself, family. Yeah. Uh, there's so many many things, uh, you know. And as an artist, you just have to continue to carry on, and that's what that painting's about. Hundred. Bro, it's inspirational, man. <laughs> it's motivating. You know this piece right here. Yeah? Obviously, you're all looking that you can do that yourself, but fam, can, can you see this? He's reading it. Like he's reading my story. I mean, that's fucking. <laughs> it's nuts, bro. It's nuts. It's just nuts, man. That's vision right there, man. That's crazy. 
question. I asked him, at what moment did he start valuing his gift? Because that's, that's not something to be taken lightly. That's like an incredible gift. Mm-hmm. And I think it was when, when I got married here, yeah, I started doing skills. And you got a little one. I got two little ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you see them. They, they love painting as well. They see me painting. So it's like they, they, they want to they start painting see. as well. So they, they're coming later on with the, with the missus. Yeah. And it's like, with me, it's like, I was just doing it because I like it. Yeah. It was that my little speed, yeah, my that's little how it piece, starts. my little yeah. element that no one can disturb me from me. Because I used to do music as well, but yeah. I was just making beats. But I think art was the one where I thought, let me carry on with it. Yeah. Then the first year, I saw the painting and I thought, wow. You know, <laughs> that's like me doing my first show. I was like, hey, I would have did the show for Whoa. free anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. That components. That's exactly. Yeah. So I was thinking, I'm making more money than anything I've ever tried to do, like making money from. And I love this. And I love this. And I started doing it. But then when I realized as well, is that when you're getting into the art game, you have to conform to certain things. And I just didn't want to do that. I just want to be original. I want to be me as a black artist, doing my own thing. I don't need to join that society, this society, that's it. Do my own thing, man. And the funniest thing is, if you don't click with one of these guys, you're not, won't, you're not getting in. So I, for a long time, since 2013 up until about 2015, I just I gave up on it as well. Yeah. Gave up, so I can't be bothered. Like, it's been long, like you know, you no know, one's letting me do my exhibition. Now people are saying, yeah, we want you to come to this exhibition. Sick. We want you to exhibit. Sick. Before I was begging everyone, can I do mine? Can I do this? And so people were saying, no, it works not all that. Blah. And uh, yeah, that's when you get that little bit depressed and you think like, you know, oh, what's the point? This ain't for me. Maybe this ain't for me. Yeah, this ain't yeah. for me. That or that, and then, um, then one of my boys, one of my, I say, family member, he was like, "Bro, listen, I'm going to put money into this. You need to do an exhibition." So there was an uh, open call for an exhibition in Angel Station, like around those areas, and um, you need to pay money for it. I was like, "Bro, I ain't got money, man." I said, "No, no, we're gonna." We're gonna Put money in, you just pay me back later, and then my work got pushed into the underground. So, all my work was on the underground, so, and I was like, oh, man, the people getting noticed, yeah. and like my stuff was getting noticed. Like, wow, this is amazing! And then, after that, that's when I started realizing, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in regardless, yeah. I'm gonna go in regardless. People, even my own family friends are saying, go for it. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna go for it. And I remember this as well. I was like, look, I ain't got no money to even give you money. He said, bro, listen, forget about the money. Yeah. Just continue doing this thing. And, and that's what made me realize that there are people that are silent, but they value your work. Yeah. Do you get it? So for me, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna carry on doing it, carry on doing it, carry on doing it. Be persistent. Yeah. Had my solo exhibition last year, and I wanted to make a point. Yeah. I could have easily done it in Campbell or Peckham or something like that, where all the, the community is. I thought, no, I'm going to do it in Chelsea, man, yeah. where no one even knows about any black, black artists or anything yeah, like yeah. that. So and I sent into my world. Bring in my, yeah. for my world. Yeah. Did that, then I got interviewed by London, uh, it's a London Live. And then from there, that's when I start, people start messaging me. Yeah. Schools start messaging me, yeah. saying, look, we want you to come to our school to do a yeah. workshop, this, yeah. that. Then I start realizing, I don't even have to sell painting, bro. Yeah. I could just go to different places yeah. to talk about. Literally. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I start thinking now, I start thinking business wise. Yeah. And then that's it. From there, that's it. Literally. Yeah. Literally, that's it. So the lesson is number one, value what you do. 100. Value what you do. Second lesson, find someone that believes in what you do. That's it. 100. That's it. Third lesson, do not conform. I know it's hard, but just stick to your beliefs and stick to what you do and stay true. Fourth lesson is stay persistent. Fifth lesson is not even a lesson, it's the reality. You can end up here. So this is where the inspiration comes this, this from, huh? <laughs> this is where the inspiration comes from. You alright? You want to say something? Say hello. You're going to be an artist as well. You're going to be an artist as well. Yeah, just like your dad. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. This is the end of the day, man. You've seen, you've seen the epic portrait. You've seen the guy behind the epic portrait. You've seen the guy who he painted in the epic portrait. Joseph, King J, King K, and we're out. We're out, man. Legend. Legend.